Hi Gemini, this is Patricia from Cosmic Moonchild Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your December 2017 reading for singles. For the new subscribers, I am a psychic medium. I am active in my community for over 20 years giving channeled messages through my angels, ancestors and uh, spirit guides. I'm also known worldwide giving one-on-one -on -one readings. And for those of you Geminis that have been with me from the beginning, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being supportive of my channel. I'm very humbled and grateful for you and um, just know that uh, I really appreciate all the likes, the shares and the comments that you have been giving me. Uh, you know Gemini, you are always second or third uh, in all my readings because um, you have always been very supportive from the very beginning and I want to thank you. So um, always check with your rising sign and your moon and your uh, Venus sign because I do use Venus in all my readings because Venus is the planet of love so I always include uh, Venus and when you check your sun your moon your rising and your Venus sign you will find a message or a confirmation there that will be given to you by the angels okay and uh, just before I start the reading I want to just look uh, I just want to give a few um, I just want to give you a few announcements okay for those of you that already know that uh, I am um, in partnership with the uh, instant go dot inc this is for only iPad and iPhone at this moment but they are working on Androids and they're working on smartphones as well in the coming weeks okay and um, it's, I find it's easier for people that just want one quick one question answered or if they ha need a, a confirmation or if you need a 15 minute, minute reading, it could be that you need a 20 minute reading, you don't need a full hour me reading, you could call me. It's like having a psychic on a speed dial, okay? And it's, um, of course, there's always, a, a, you know, patience needed because I'm not always on uh, the uh, the app, but when I do get on, I do answer all the messages, okay? That's one of the announcements, announcements that I wanted to give you. For those of you that still want to use my... Um, my email at the bottom of this video if you press the little icon it will show you everything uh, uh, my information there okay it will show you uh, my email address that you could contact me is at cosmic moonchild tarot 1111 at gmail.com okay and for those of you that have Instagram please follow me there because I do uh, very uh, very frequently I am always live and I always answer questions or uh, I, I communicate with my soul family my soul tribe family there and uh, sometimes I also do readings as well, okay? So uh, let's get started with your reading, okay, Gemini? So uh, when I was shuffling the cards and getting into your energy, uh, the angels kept showing me celebration, uh, like you and your friends celebrating, I, celebration in the home. Um, there's um, messages that are, are being, uh, that are, some of the messages for you are singles are still in delay because the angels and the universe are cleaning up behind the scenes, okay? Like there's something that they have to clear up to bring some this something new that's coming in for you. Um, I feel that uh, for some of you, there's going to be like, because uh, I keep uh, they keep showing me water. So a water sign could be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It could be a sign or something for you. Maybe some of you live near near water. You live near ocean or something. I feel there's a lot of new beginnings for Gemini's, okay? You guys have been working so hard on yourself. Um, but there is new beginnings. And I feel some of you are, that are here watching this are very intuitive. Some of you could be psychic mediums, could be tarot readers. I feel you come here on my channel for confirmations and uh, so the angels are saying that uh, you are going to get most of your confirmations here at this moment okay so let's get started with your reading okay so the decks that i have here are new decks and all these decks that i'm using are all from all the subscribers that sent me um uh, they sent me uh, i guess new cards and these are the gifts i'm getting and i resonate with the, with these cards very well okay um this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. I want to thank them very much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, if you do send me a deck, I will use it in my readings, okay? Um, I always do that because I love, you know, the more the merrier of the cards, you know. It doesn't matter which ones they are. Uh, my angels will always message through me to give you the, the, the message that you need to hear, okay? So, um, now, I will go back in doing my readings like this. Uh, for the sole purpose that a lot of you, uh, you know, see that, um, okay, a lot of you see that, uh, you know, there's other readers that, you know, do their cards like that. I can't, for the some, this, because my hands are, oops, look, that card went flying. My hands are very small, okay, and uh, so 
the thing is, is that um, I feel because my hands are very small, I'm not, I, I, I can only do the card readings in this fashion or matter. It's not because I don't know how to shuffle cards or I don't know how to do this. It's just because uh, my hands are very small. And sometimes I even have a hard time opening up a jar. Thank God I have my children that could help me to open up jars because I really have time, a hard time with uh, with uh, uh, objects. Like I have, I still have baby hands, and uh, so that's <laughs> this is what uh, you know. Um, I had to put the other cards back because the angels told me that those were not for you. Okay, so I'm, I am taking out your cards as we go along here. A lot of you, oh my God, what a beautiful reading, Gemini. Gemini, I'm so excited for you. Oh my God, I'm so excited. We're gonna, I'm just going to pull out the cards and then we're going to, I'm going to start showing you the cards. Okay, so have patience. Okay, get comfortable. Get comfortable. And oh my God, look at the cards coming out. Some of you could be dealing, someone, okay, singles. Some of you are going to be having, it's going to be a Scorpio that's coming into your life. A water sign. I do feel there's a water sign that's coming in. Okay, and um, it could also be an Aquarius, okay, for just since it's a general reading, it could be any sign, unless you get a private reading, then I could go more uh, more into your uh, area to see where what, what it is for you. Uh, I also see um, a Capricorn um, Virgo or Taurus coming towards you as well. There is a, a message that will be coming in for you. A message of love, okay? It will be the beginning of a message, okay? So you could also be dealing with a Virgo as well. I see Leo, Virgo. I see Earth energy and I see water energy. So at the beginning when I was channeling, when the, the angels were giving me messages, they were they were showing me Earth, uh, water water uh, so it, it could be that uh, the person you're meeting will be a scorpio or a uh, cancer scorpio or pisces as well okay since it's a general reading oh there we go oh no i'm really definitely getting a, a water energy here uh could be that uh you know he has uh he has a, a virgo or a, a taurus uh, as a sun sign a rising sign uh, or you could be like um you could be like an uh, example, a Taurus, and his rising sign is like Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But he has these elements, okay, about him. Or this is you as, as well that could have these elements about you, okay? So um, let's get started with your reading. I'm just going to place the cards like this. And I have more space over here. Okay. These cards are to clarify each card that's on the, on the floor, okay? Gemini. I will try not to make noise because I don't like tape. I'm waiting for my cloth. I ordered it a month ago to cover my um, my table because I know that sometimes the cards make a lot of noise. <laughs> and I don't know where it's coming from because it's a month I'm waiting for it. I hope it gets here very soon, <laughs> you know. Scorpio pet. This is for Gemini's. I said, I think it's a Scorpio. Because I just said Scorpio again. Um... For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm so I'm so excited about this reading. I know. December. Okay, I'll put them here for now. A lot of you are gonna you're gonna have your twin flame is coming towards you, uh, Gemini. Okay, I feel a lot of you have worked on yourself so much. You worked on yourself, you are working a lot, but you also worked on yourself as well. Meditations, working on your spirituality, you've been calling in your twin flame. He or she is coming for you, okay? Uh, I feel that it's they're going to be coming in the first or second week of the month of December, okay? Um, a lot of you will, a lot of you are creating, you are, you're going through a rebirth Okay, also I feel a lot of you are going through a rebirth. A lot of you will also be creating something that's going to bring in a lot of abundance. And over here, it's also the pregnancy card. So in the near future, you will be pregnant with your twin flame. Okay, it could also be a Sagittarius as well that you're dealing with. You did get the temperance card. This is the most beautiful card in the deck. It talks about everything about being enlightened, being grounded, uh, you know, having one... See, if you see this angel, one foot in the water, one on the ground, the way she... Uh, from one cup to another, there's she 
she pours the water in there's not a drop that passes very much enlightened i think a lot of you i feel uh, the angels are saying that you're connected to your angels you are getting the guidance and you are following it through and you're being very patient and letting the universe bring to you when your twin flame or uh, when this person comes around okay towards you like you are being guided and you are taking the guide okay uh, you also have the leo this could also be leo but again you have the sun that's shining that's bringing you this uh twin flame with this twin flame here okay um i really believe that the sun is shining so bright and this is this will be brought to you okay um in all good faith and in divine timing of course okay um you also got the ten of pentacles so this is a beautiful card to get it's a most of the it's one of the best cards to get in the reading okay um this is like you being you know celebration with your friends your family uh it could be that um uh, you know uh you know friends family with your twin flame and a beginning uh, i feel a brand new start uh in in also like uh you're very grateful for what you have you feel very blessed um and i feel here uh an abundance of money coming in as well for you because i feel like a lot of you are creating something and it could be that you will be creating uh i feel a lot of you will be working with your twin flame I really feel a lot of you will be working with your twin, okay? Uh, in, I feel that this person that's coming in is also very stable. Um, he's very stable in money or she, okay? And uh, very emotional, balanced, okay? Your past is gone. Both of your pasts are gone. So that's amazing. And it's going to bring balance. When you come together, you are going to be both in balance, okay? So let's uh, take... Uh, a card to clarify each of the cards here okay and if i need more cards i will use more cards okay oh i really love these cards they're so awesome okay oops there we go I feel that uh, there's gonna be a there's gonna be change coming. So the change that's coming, just let the universe guide you, uh, Gemini's. Okay, now this is not for all of you. This is for some of you. Okay, that will be having this. But I feel most of you are uh, in this predicament. For others of you that uh, you know, there's a there's a change. Some of you are resisting a change. I feel um, you're resisting a change because this change that's coming in. Uh, uh, I feel a lot of you are being pulled in two different directions. I don't know why I'm sensing uh, two different directions here. It may be there's going to be two people coming in and you're going to have to choose, okay, to be which one is your twin flame. Let the angels guide you because you do have, you're very, very intuitive at this moment, uh, Gemini. I feel that um, some of you um, could be dealing with an Aries as well or a Scorpio, like I said, but, there's, but there is definitely the change that's coming in for you, okay, is that it's going to feel very chaotic okay and confusing but that's because when someone comes in especially being your twin flame of course you're going to feel like that but you're going to know and deep in your soul who this person is okay you're going to know you're going to feel it okay again it's telling me that some of you uh maybe have um i feel a lot of you uh, are wanting this okay and um yeah that's it so a lot of you are wanting this okay but because of the past now some of you walked away from the past and you ended the past you don't want to know nothing of the about the past and you're in this present moment but there's some other of you gemini that are still like i don't know you still have like inklings left around you of what happened to you in your past okay and i feel that um i feel that you're gonna have to make a decision okay some of you are gonna have to make a decision could be from an earth sign okay that you're gonna meet uh or this is your energy here that you're very stable but at the same time i feel at the same time that you have been working so hard and you did get the ace of pentacles so if there is a gift that's coming towards you i feel this is going to be like a challenge for you or an obstacle okay or this person that is a of a of a earth energy okay that's going to bring you these like you're not going to be sure what you're like you're not sure about something i feel some of you are not sure about something but your intuition is very high okay and some of you are tarot readers here okay so um if i feel that you know that um 
something about you being injustice, something about something being justice or being uh, fair to you, I feel, uh, I just feel that here you're going to have to make a decision, okay, uh, or open your heart, okay, because the twin flame might not be the person that you really want to be with, maybe it's not what you imagined this person to be, whether it's male or female, but this person is coming in and you're going to have to make a decision, okay, you're going to have to make a decision, yeah, you definitely, look, again, I got the twin flame card here, okay, and you being patient, okay, so just have to be patient, it's in divine timing, maybe there's a few suitors that are going to be around you, and you're going to have to choose, okay, and a lot of you in the past felt like you were left in the dark, okay, and I really feel that both of you, you and, and your twin have in your chart, okay, 100% you have in your chart, like a rising or a moon, or something in Venus, that's in Virgo, uh, Taurus or Capricorn, and um, you are going to be, you are both, okay, like you are, I feel that for some of you Geminis, you have a good job, I feel that you, or your career, I feel something that you are making money, that you will be abundant, okay, because there is a gift that's coming towards you from the universe, okay, and um, and also this uh, twin, your twin flame will be the same way as you, okay, the same, same thing, incredible, um, you know, you're going to probably be like a very emotional when you meet this person, okay? Just know that it's a normal feeling that you're going to be passing through, okay? A normal feeling. Okay, this is a this is a new beginning and uh, there's a messages of love coming in towards you. Uh, but they're still in a bit of the, the delay, okay? They're still in delay, okay? But it's coming, it's coming, don't worry. It's on its way. And uh, you're going to start seeing things very clearly very soon, okay? You're going to start seeing things very clearly, Gemini. Most definitely you're dealing with an earth sign, okay, for some of you, okay, or uh, this is, uh, I feel that uh, this is also you, that maybe you've been working very hard, okay, um, male or female, um, you've been working hard, you are stable in finances, and you've been really working very too detailed, very detailed work here, okay, or you've been working so much uh, that, uh, but you are, um, I feel that you're going to be working um with your partner as well that's coming in for you, your twin flame, okay? And uh, and some of you probably will, you know, not like jump into it right away, okay? Because there's, I feel like uh, for a lot of you Gemini here, there's more than one suitor. So the ones that, these, this is a, for singles, so I feel that there's many people that will come towards you and you're going to be very defensive on others. Follow your feelings and follow your intuition because right now your intuition is very on the high. Okay, very high. Okay, I do see that. And, um, you know, some of you could also be dealing. I feel like a lot of you will start seeing things very clear. You're, the sun is shining near you. Okay, a lot of you is going to be with a Scorpio or maybe a lot of you right now are going through transformations because we are still, I'm taping this in November. Uh, the, today were the, uh, what's the date, what's the date today? I don't know what the date, hold on, I'm not going to see over here. I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm taping this the 19th, so we're still in Scorpio season, so this could be you going through many transformations here. Uh, I, that could also be the, the case at this moment, but you will be seeing things very clearly, okay? You're going to be seeing things very clearly. You're going to... You're gonna, you have to look at this. <laughs> oh, that's what I love about these readings. Okay, you got the Ten of Cups here, okay? This is a new beginning in love. New beginning, okay, of all your wishes coming true. You got the Nine of Cups here, okay? Now, whether it's reversed or not reversed, okay? The Nine of Cups is like the sun if it's reversed or not reversed. It's in the lay, but it's coming to you. All your wishes are coming true, okay, Gemini? Just keep the faith, okay, because it's coming for you. And uh, you got also the Ten of Cups. Look, look. You got the Ten of Cups twice. Okay. These are my confirmations. Okay. Ten of Cups twice. So this is a new beginning. Okay. A lot of you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay. Someone that's very intuitive. Someone that is also probably a tarot reader. Uh, she could be a psychic or he could be a psychic. Uh, they're very attached to animals and water. And they, um, you know, they are uh, awesome people as well, okay? Uh, in the past, 
I feel over here that you healed from a broken heart. It could have been you You were also in a third-party situation or someone that hurt you in the past, okay? Uh, but the past is gone. Just remember that. You got the Wheel of Fortune. There's beautiful things coming towards you in the second week of December. I feel this, okay, for some of you. It's all depending on your soul purpose and where you are on your soul path, but this is coming for you. Beautiful. Beautiful reading. I'm so excited. You got the Nine of Pentacles here again, working hard on yourself. Okay, the ninth is completion. Okay, a lot of you have been working very hard on yourselves. And congratulations on that. And if you've been working also on your spirituality, I feel a lot of you have. A lot, I feel a lot of you are listening to music. Some of you are artists. I feel some of you are playing music. And, you know, the angels are hearing your music. I do sense that. There's going to be a lot of celebration in your home. The cosmos are bringing this to you. You're going to have love messages. Very love, passionate messages coming towards you. Uh, you're, you're not going to feel stuck anymore. You're going to be able to move forward. Could it could also be a younger person of Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo coming in for you. And it will be, a, a you know, your relationship with your twin. Now, not everybody's going to meet their twin, but for those of you that will meet your twins, the singles, it will be balanced. Your relationship will be balanced. Um, your relationship will be in balance, okay? And this is coming from the stars. Stars are behind this, and they're working very hard to bring you this. So keep the faith, okay? It's coming in. It's coming in. In the past, you walked away from something that really hurt you really bad. You had no choice to walk away. Some of you walked away very rash. You didn't make... Uh, you weren't in... Uh, some of you walked away from someone in your past without much thinking. You just walked away. Um, I feel here... That there's something that you're not seeing. No, 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 this is for another group, I feel. I don't feel that this is for the same. There's something that you're not seeing, Gemini. Okay, now this is not for all of you. <coughs> You'll know which what resonates for you. Okay, but there's something that you're not seeing. And I feel this is someone from your past that you walked away from. Okay, let's see more what, what they're saying here. Yeah. You were too much in your thoughts. You weren't sleeping at night. You were crying, you were, I, th I believe a lot of you were too much in your thoughts. You weren't sleeping. This really caused you a lot of pain. I feel s someone is thinking about someone, or you're thinking about your past and what happened. There's some, some, for some of you Geminis, uh, something is not complete. Someone to do with your past, okay? It's not complete here. I'm not getting any... I feel it could be a Cancer or Sagittarius. Or it could be any sign because this is a general reading. But I feel that there's something that is not complete here. Okay, so... Um, yeah, there's something not complete. For some of you Geminis. Okay. Some of you, it's, it's, it could be from... Um, those of you probably that are separated from your separated from your uh, partner, uh, those of you that have a long term partnership, or you were married to, I feel there's like some kind of separation going on. Um, I feel that there's something that's unbalanced at the same time, or there's a separation, but I don't see divorce yet. I see that you lost faith in this person, but this is someone from your past. Okay, you were evolving and growing, but then something stopped. Let me see if I could see more. You saw you could, could have been dealing with a player or you could have been dealing with someone that was not, uh, it was coming in and out. Was, like, they weren't stable. And um, you have your defenses up, okay, about this person. It could be a Sagittarius again. You will need to cultivate patience, okay. Yeah, there's some kind of imbalance with this long-term relationship or this person, okay, you were dealing with. Uh, someone from your past. Something about doing a uh, some of you, something about the angels are saying you need to do a gratitude list or something about not being grateful for something. I feel here because I do see a long term. I see that you're going to be in long term 
a relationship or if this is a marriage or um, or if it's a, a, a relationship that is unbalanced at this moment, maybe you could be separated or you could be living in the same house and not talking to each other. Whatever the case, it's I feel that there's something that needs to be balanced here. Yeah. I feel someone's heart is not open. Not open. It could be also about monetary, but I feel that someone's heart is not open. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. But you will have the strength to go through this. I hope this helped somebody. You could be dealing with a Virgo, I feel here. Some of you. Or you're really going within to look at your answers. But there is a message that's coming in. Okay, could be this, this partner. I feel that this is the same ring for the one before. This partner that you're with lost a job. Or there's something about their work that's not... Something about work or something that they didn't get that job and it's causing a lot of havoc between of you, all of you. Some of you are also, um, this is, I know, I know I said this was for singles, right? But the angels wanted me to pass this message, so I'm passing it through. I'm not going to deny any messages that come in or ignore them from my angels. But this is a singles reading, okay? But I, I feel that the angels had to speak to somebody that's also looking at this and they're not single. Or maybe they're separated and almost like single. Okay, but there is celebration coming here. Okay, there's celebration. <clears throat> right now, all of you are, uh, singles are just waiting. You're just waiting. You're just waiting. There's a bit of confusion. I feel you're talking to more than one person here, Gemini. And there's, it's causing you confusion. You need to go. You need to spend time alone and uh, really reconnect yourself to uh, nature. Or if it's not through nature, uh, just reconnect yourself to your soul. Because I feel that some of you are focusing only on the things that went that you don't want, and you're not focusing on the things that you do want. The angels are asking you to change your way of your thinking. Now again, this is not for all of you. This is for some of you. Okay, there is a new beginning here. I see it, and this is faded from the angels. Okay, and the messages are going to be coming towards you. Okay, uh, beautiful messages of love are coming in. Okay. Yeah, I, I really believe it's a... It could be an older gentleman or younger gentleman, but this is a water sign. Most definitely Scorpio, Pisces, or... And uh, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Okay, and they're going to come in bringing you messages of love. Okay. And... Um, there's going to be a lot of messages of love coming in towards you. This is really coming in from the angels and the universe. So, okay, I hope you enjoyed your readings. Um, Gemini, now I'm going to take the oracle cards. The oracle cards are as important as the tarot cards. Actually, my angels say that the oracle cards are very powerful messages that come from them as well. And they would like you to listen to it, okay? So, um, I got two decks that were given to me by uh, some of my subscribers. Um, Annie, you know, Annie... Uh, Thank you so much for these beautiful decks that you have given me. I really appreciate them and I really love working with them. Okay, so I got two of them, okay? So I have the moon, the moon face, okay? Moon, the moon cards, okay? That these are oracle cards uh, with a numerology of, as well, okay? That are, uh, that are um, affirmations for you, okay? So these are affirmations as well. Okay, so this is for Gemini, Sun, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2017 for singles. What are the messages? What are the messages? So we'll ask the moon. The moon wants... What does the moon want to tell Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2017? What are the messages? Oh, there we go. Okay, I got you one here. And then I got this deck. It's called Nature's Whispers. It's so the cards are so beautifully made. Sorry for the noise. I'm gonna try to be more quieter with my. I already shuffled them before. So, what are the messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and oh no, that's too many cards. <laughs> okay, what are the messages? Okay, well I guess they want these cards out, so there must be a reason why. You got a lot of cards, so we're going to have to go through them, okay, by one by one. Okay, so let's go through the first one. <clears throat> this is number 28 for some of you. 
and it's called Bountiful Harvest. Look how beautiful this card is. Isn't it gorgeous? So, I feel a lot of you have been working on yourself here. This shows me all the progress that you have been making towards yourself, Gemini, and what you created for yourself already. So a lot of you are already are waiting for your twin. Your twin flame is in the, your energy already, and I'm sure a lot of you have been feeling him or her. Okay. Next card you got is number 40. It says show your support. So you will know what this card means to you because I wanted to explain it to you and then the angels tell me, no, 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 no. They go, just leave it there for them and read them the bottom. So it says, show your support. Some of you need this message. This is what the angels are telling me. That some of you need this message here. So you know who you have to show support to. You feel it intuitively and you know I'm talking to you <laughs> because the angels, that's what they're telling me, okay? Next card here is... Number 18, okay, and oh, look at this. New experiences and possibilities that are coming to you. So there's new beginnings coming towards you, okay, Gemini, and new possibilities. Uh, keep your heart open and just be guided by the universe and the angels because it is coming in for you. Next card is number 14, and it's called Assurance. Oh, look at this beautiful... Now, remember when I was telling you before about, I say that there's an earth element, okay, there's an earth element, or you have this earth, earth element in you, and your twin also has, and if you look at the card very closely, it's you, you and your twin in the tree. I feel both of you are going to be very grounded to the roots of Mother Earth, and to the sun, and to the moon. I feel both of you are very intuitive. And I feel uh, uh, both of you are going to be doing work together in your spiritual world, okay? And this is the assurance that this is coming in for you. Next card you got is number 24, and it says, Be your best self always. Be yourself best always. Okay, uh, so this, is, this means that always be your best. Always be your best towards yourself. First, you come first, Gemini. Love towards you, love, affirmations, and always show to others as well, okay? Beautiful. And the moon card affirmation is number 22, for those of you that want to know. And this is your affirmation, okay? if you, you could repeat after me if you like. My inner compass knows the way. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> this is beautiful. That's why I love doing this. Thank you, angels for helping me, to, helping me to help the collective. My inner compass knows the way. Here you go. Number 22. This is beautiful. I'm so happy for you, Gemini. I have no idea. Please leave me your comments. Let me know what's going on with you, if the, reason, the reading resonated with you, okay? And have the faith, because this is coming in for you, and it's so, it's so beautiful. I feel the energy, because I, I, I work with energy, and I feel the energy, and it's like... It's like a lot of, I, I, I feel, there's no words to express what I'm feeling at this moment with you. But I, all know, I know that it's all beautiful things that are coming towards you. And um, so, you know, um, I will be coming back with a mid-month. But um, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas for all of you out there that are going to be with family and friends and celebrating. And I wish you the best in the... Um, in the end, this I'm taping this November nineteenth during the full uh, the new moon that we had just just recently. So just know that everything will be okay. You're doing a lot of releasing and you're bringing in this person, this twin flame, this union that's coming in for you. So I wish you the best. Just know that the angels are always guiding you, supporting you, and loving you. Take care, Gemini. Bye. I love you.